To be a footballer, Luka Modric, always thinking about his next move due to the fact his, his technical ability is so strong, astute and intelligent. He's, um, he's such a telling passer. Yeah, still certainly be leaning heavily on him. Perisic. And it's Perisic. Perisic. Goes for it! Gets up to head it! And oh! Just off target. has got rid of that. Pumps it upfield. And he's on his way! And the counter is on. It took genuine bravery to attempt to tackle there. Mind you, he had little option. He had a decision to make there, and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. Any hesitation then would have either seen him get a card or his team concede a goal. I can only say, well done, son. It's a throw. He's had a shot! What about that, Jim Beglin? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Croatia take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Tries a through ball. In comes the cross. Danger averted for now. It'll be a throw in. Now the pass. A chance! And the finish! He's done very well to get to that. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. The defence can get it clear. There's the end of the first half. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Croatia leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Pumps it into the area. Has a hit! It's good distance on it. Immobile. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Out to the left it goes. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strike... Back of the net! Two up! Threatening to pull clear. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach.
Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. He's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more. Croatia get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Up to meet it! like a good ball through. Shot a goal! And he's there to hoof it away. Kovacic hoops it upfield. Great challenge. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Jorginho. Who's going to make this theirs? Plays it out to the wing. He's in space and looking for options. Can he find a finish now? Can he find a finish? Yes, he can! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Croatia take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Throw in. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Oh, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Well, how will we look back on that? Croatia.